Yeah, Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai uh, Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about <laughs> who is Israel, okay? Now, just want to let you guys know I'm from the tribe of Issachar, okay? Uh, and I'm no, just tribe kidding. of Simeon, brother. Tribe of Simeon, okay. <laughs> Um, but in all seriousness, um, obviously, uh, this is a real issue. This is a real topic um, on who is Israel. And uh, many people uh, do not know or maybe they have a misunderstanding of the concept of who is Israel. Um, oftentimes what happens is uh, when we get saved, you know, we, we don't know everything. We don't know at all and and you know just being uh transparent with everybody uh, i don't know it all and um and and that's the position I, i'm just going to take I'll, I'll never know it all i don't think until christ comes back and reveals all uh even the scripture says that we see dimly as in a mirror um but then we will see uh see him as he sees us clearly um even as what we are clearly known so Romans nine verse uh, Romans eleven verse one says, "I say then, uh, has God cast away His people?" Big no. Wait, hold on. Let's ask that question again. I say then, has God cast away His people? And the answer is certainly not. No. No, God has not cast away his people. He says, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people whom he foreknew. And then it says, uh, or do you not know that the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars. And I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what does the divine response say to him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. Even so then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. You know, so what is the end result here is that, you know, uh, God is still working on Israel. The church has not replaced them. Um, we need to be praying for Israel. We need to be praying for the salvation of Israel, uh, praying that God will raise up labors uh, to to uh, witness to, to Jews. Um, we need to be praying for these uh, ultra Orthodox rabbis uh, mm -hmm. to possibly have a. Um, you know, uh, an amazing uh, uh, salvational experience by coming to the knowledge of Yeshua. Uh, and and we need some more Pauls, right? I believe that we're going to get some more Pauls. But I actually heard uh, a brother say this, that um, to get a Paul, uh, we need some Stevens. <laughs> and, and, and that's a reality. Uh, obviously, that's um, uh, that's. You know, it's not something to be taken light, lightly, but um, but God is not done with Israel. Uh, God is still working on Israel. And um, yeah, so that's all I have today. Uh, Brother Andy, uh, uh, last statement. Uh, you get five minutes if you want to say something else. But I guess, you know, the, 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 the question of tonight, you know, uh, who is Israel and has God replaced Israel? And the answer, once again, a big emphatic no. Uh, the church has not replaced Israel. Um, Israel has its promise. And again, as we read from the book of Ezekiel, you know, God is not doing it because of any good at all, you know, in, in Israel or anything, but for his name, you know. Uh, and even though Israel is in Israel, the land of Israel. They still don't have all their land that actually belongs to them. That's right. So 
it's even grandeur in that way, you know, that, and, you know, I'll say God is angry about that too, uh, because uh, uh, according to the book of Zechariah and others, like, he's going to judge the nations that divide up his land, you know? Um, <laughs> so that's just, you know, the reality, you know, uh, but... Uh, I'm actually going to end it right there. Um, and so uh, God bless you guys next week. Uh, we, I think we are going to be talking about the feast of the Lord. So we're going to keep it Jewish up in here. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, the feast of um, uh, Pentecost, uh, which is uh, Pesach. And that actually starts next Thursday. Um, so if you're not really um, familiar with what the feast actually mean, there's actually very, uh, prophetic um, uh, insight with these feasts, um, and that starts next week on Shavuot or the day of Pentecost, and that starts next Thursday. Uh, God bless you guys. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, until next time, we'll see you guys next time. Amen. Keep it kosher. <laughs> Keep it kosher. <laughs>